Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Tales of 69 made speed paint, this time with the theme of water. Which is a bit appropriate since it's raining right now and I don't know if you could hear that. If you do, my apologies. But the recording must go on. So when I first read the prompt, I more or less knew what I wanted to do. So I wanted to do a atmospheric, mystical looking piece and the character in it was more or less secondary. I apologize but what mattered to me was the background and how I would execute said background. So I was having a hard time looking for a character that would fit the theme and my criteria was I wanted it to be female and somebody not from Zysteria or Abyss which is my default. So, Mainly because I've been drawing them way too much recently and I felt the need to draw someone from a different game. So I was browsing through the Wikia and I, I remembered that Tales of Hearts R was recently localized for the PS Vita and I kinda did like Kohaku's um, character design or Amber, however you wanna call her. And I really like the design, it's very pastel and I really like the color palette and even though I could see that her shorts could use a bit more shorts and since it feels like she could get a really bad veggie from shorts that short but whatever. I kinda like her hair also and I imagine that it would be good or it would be nice and interesting to see how it would act in water so I ended up drawing her. So I apologize there is no deep or character development related meaning to the theme and the character used, I just thought that she would look good in a water atmospheric picture. So the main focus here was, well, the water and her hair, since her hair would be the thing that would show that she's interacting with the water. Originally, her hand should have had water in it as well, but either I got lazy or I kinda got nervous about the time limit and decided to cut that part out. And I do actually like how her hair turned out. Um, usually I don't like drawing really bouncy fluffy hair for females since coloring could be a bit of a pain. But for some reason, I really enjoyed this one, and I found that coloring hair has gotten a bit easier for me lately, so maybe I just learned how to deal with hair more, or I got over the my impatience with coloring hair or something like that. But since I haven't drawn anything for the challenge for like two weeks, since the nail polish one, yeah, so I was a little bit cautious of the timer and I had to skimp out on some details like the lace on her shorts and there as you notice maybe there's no lace on her sleeves but I wanted to give myself enough time to work on the background and her hair coloring actually is, is a little bit more the process was a little bit simplified usually I'd use deeper shadows and I'd add highlights right away but then I wanted to just get the base colors down and the base shadows down and I thought that if I have enough time in the end I could just add onto it later which fortunately I did have enough time even after doing the water and all that so I guess you could say that I still have a good handle of the time limit, unconsciously actually. I only looked at the timer like thrice the entire, in the entire speed paint. And I know you don't have any way to verify if I did follow the time limit since there's no way to visually tell on the screen. But I assure you, I do follow the timer and I use my phone to time myself.
I was really lucky that her design is pretty simple. It's mostly just whites and very pastel colors, so I didn't really have to worry um, about too much detail or having to choose which details to cut out. And it's a good thing because if I didn't, if I chose a more detailed character, I may have not had enough time to work on her hair and the water itself. gave me a bit of a challenge and I didn't really completely think out of how I was gonna how I was gonna do the water and I got too used to doing it traditionally that digitally I couldn't figure out immediately what I was gonna do and then I realized that I could just add a lot of shiny parts and it would look like water. So that's the trick. If you want things to look like water more or less in a very quick and easy way, add a lot of glowing parts and make it sure that it looks like a wave and later on, I'll be adding more shiny parts to her hair so that it would look like it was submerged and it was floating on the water instead of like just splat over there flat and whatnot. Admittedly the background could use a bit more depth. Originally I wanted the water to stretch out onto the horizon and then my mind changed in the middle I wanted it to just be a small pool and then I wanted to do a forest, but the forest didn't happen. So I ended up doing this weird night sky looking thing. It turned out ish in the end, but it really. When I got to the backhand part, I was just thinking, oh crap, I didn't plan out well enough for this. I planned out the water and the hair to some extent, but not the backhand, even though I did see the backhand was important. So at this point, I'm adding highlights to the skin and the hair because I did have enough time, so I had enough time to add more depth to the drawing. I'll be adding in deeper shadows later on. adding some sort of rim highlights to the water that's interacting with the hair again to make it look like the hair submerged a bit in the water so now I'm adding in more shadows just to fix it up a little bit more make it look a bit more um, 3D not really but I had enough time and I thought that I could use more details and shadows to it so I was just waiting for the timer to go off at this point. So we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe. I post fan art and 
the 69 Mitch challenges a lot. And follow me on DeviantArt, Instagram, and Tumblr. And I'll see you around.